What's up, guys? It's me again, Jacoby. Um, I'm here to talk about the movie Argyle. Uh, I, I went and saw it last night. I know I might be a little late on the review of the movie, but I'm going to do it anyway. Man, let me tell you, I got to say, I did not like this movie at all. First off, man, I look really rough this morning. But <laughs> anyways, I did not like this movie at all. This movie was boring. And I'm just, I was so disappointed with it because... It has so many great actors in it. Samuel Jackson's in this movie. Um, Bryce da Dallas Howard is in this movie. Sam Rockwell is in this movie. Brian, Brian Cranston is in this movie. John Cena, uh, Henry Cavill. There's so many good actors in this movie. And this movie was god-awful. I was bored out of my mind. I just went and saw um, Lisa Frankenstein. And I got to tell you, I probably would walk back and say that I had a little bit more fun watching Lisa Frankenstein because this movie was just all over the place it was it was just some of the the decisions that they made in this movie I was like why would you do this there's a part when she decides at the end there's oil all over the ground and she decides that she wants to go that she's going to be able to to stop the bad guys and she's going to skate on them because she's an ice skater so she puts knives on the bottom of her shoes and she skates in the oil. That is not how skating works. If she was going to do that, she could have skated on her shoes that way. I was so disappointed in this movie. It was so, so bad. So, so bad. And and the actors did a great job. The actors did the best they could. The script was god-awful. It was just like some of the stuff that they were saying and doing. It was, it was like pulling teeth to sit there and continue to watch this movie. It was crazy to me because... I haven't walked out of a movie in a long time. I legit walked out of this movie probably 10 minutes before this movie ended. I was so done. I fell asleep in this movie. I, I, it, and it's at least 20 minutes way too long. At least 20 minutes way too long. That's just way too much in it. It's like there's an ending and then it's like, oh, but wait, we got to go do this. And then that, that thing is done. Then it's like, oh, wait, but we got to go do this. Oh, but wait, we got to go do this. And it, it's like, it, 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 to me, it ended like five or six different times. But yet, it, every time it ended, it was like, oh, but we got one more thing that we just have to go do. You know, and it just, it just kept going and going and going and going and going. This movie is not good. Uh, it sucks that, that you know, uh, I think it's uh, Matthew Vaughn, I think is his name. Uh, forgive me if I get that wrong. But he's he's a decent, I mean, not decent, he's a great director. I mean, I, I hate saying stuff like that because I have never directed a movie. And it and it's not easy to direct movies. But uh, he's a good director. He did um, uh, Kingsman and Kingsman 2. He did, uh, I think, Sucker Punch and a lot of these other movies. It was a Sucker Punch? I don't think so. But anyway, he did Kingsman movie. And, and, and I like that one pretty decent, but this movie is just all over the place, and it, it just was not fun to me. Um, I was disappointed. Dice, uh, um, Bryce Dallas Howard, I love this woman. This is one beautiful woman. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous woman, and I was with a friend of mine, and a friend of mine was like, oh, she's gained weight, and all I could say to him was, that's a beautiful woman. She is still gorgeous. I would love it if she kept the weight on it. She is gorgeous. I, I, I kind of had some words with him in there, but... Uh, it doesn't doesn't matter. It, it's still beautiful woman, beautiful um, acting. I mean, I I just I don't know. I was just disappointed that that this movie has such a great pedigree of good actors and producers and directors that that was on board with this movie, and it just wasn't good. And so I I, I hate to to say that, but guys, don't go see this movie. I mean, I don't even really want to get into the things that happened because I saw it last night and it's, they're not fresh on my mind anymore because I kind of put them out of my mind. But anyways, like I say all the time and I'll keep saying it, I will never tell you not to go see something, but I will tell you it's not good. And this movie is not good. It is god awful. It's a waste of time in my opinion and I shouldn't have never went and saw it. Just plain and simple, but uh, no, I'm I'm not gonna say that. I I don't mind seeing anything. Something was uh, messing with the window there. There's a little bird up outside the window. I'm at home right now, but anyway, so check my buddy out sitting up on my towels. You see him back there in the back. Ash, what what you want? 
Check me out. Look at it. <laughs> anyways, this is not a video of Ash sitting on my towels. But anyways, guys, don't go see this movie. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Go see the movie. Tell me what you think about it yourself. Put it in the, the comments. If you like it, let's talk about it. And we'll we'll see whatever, you know, what you thought. You know, let's have a dialogue about it. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Way Have You Seen This? I am Jacoby, a.k.a. A.k.a. Why I said it right there? Anyways, Way Have You Seen This? Also known as Let's Go to the Movies. <laughs> anyway, I think this is going to be one of the new segments on the show. Anyhow, uh, thanks, guys. Uh, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it.